In this video, we're going to talk about how we can allocate joint cost of products by using the physical measure method. So let's say that we have a dairy farm and we produce some raw milk at a cost of $300,000 and then we have a separation process that costs $200,000 and it gives us two joint products, whole milk and cream. And so now we need to find a way to allocate these joint costs here to the products, right? So one way we can do that is we could say, okay, what's some physical measure that we could use for whole milk and cream? Well, we could measure them in gallons, right? So let's say that we look and we say, well, we have 70,000 gallons of whole milk, and then we have 30,000 gallons of cream, right? So before we were thinking when we did like the relative sales value at the split off point, we were going to allocate the joint cost based on the relative sales values of these products, but we could conversely just do it using the gallons, right? This physical measure. So, oh, that's 30,000 there, not 30. So we're going to say, what's the total amount of gallons for each of these products? Well, if we add 70,000 and 30,000 together, that's going to give us a hundred thousand total right now if we take the seventy thousand over here for the whole milk seventy thousand and divide it by a hundred thousand then that's going to give us 0.7 which is equivalent to saying that seventy percent of the total gallons are represented by whole milk so what we could do to allocate these joint costs here is we could add up the joint cost, so the 300,000 plus the 200,000 is 500,000, right? So these two here, there's 500,000 in total joint costs that need to be allocated. Let me get this out of here so you don't get confused. So we need to allocate this 500,000, and we just use that 70%, right, for the whole milk. So the 500,000 times 70% is going to be the amount of joint cost that is allocated to the whole milk, and that's going to come out to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars now we do the same thing with cream we take the five hundred thousand in joint costs but now it's the thirty thousand gallons divided by a hundred thousand total gallons so that's going to give us 0.3 or thirty percent right so of all the gallons that we've created here the thirty thousand out of a hundred thousand is thirty percent so the cream is thirty percent of all the gallons so now we take thirty percent 30% times the 500,000 in joint costs from up here, okay? And so that's going to give us $150,000 of joint costs. So the joint costs for the whole milk are $350,000, and the joint costs for the cream are $150,000. Now, bear in mind, these two numbers should add up, right? So there's 350 and 150,000 to make sure you did it right. You just add them together and see if they equal this 500,000 up here, and you'll see that they do. Now, one caveat with this physical measure method is that it doesn't really give any weight to the relative sales values. It doesn't take that into consideration. Now, you might be thinking an example like this, well, why is this even a problem? Why do we even care whether it would do that? But yeah, you know, I've, I've heard a really good example of this, and that's let's say that you were mining, you had a mining operation, and you were mining uh, gold, you were mining gold and lead, let's say. So you were mining gold and lead, and so lead is a lot heavier. Lead is heavier than gold, right? And so let's say that you were getting, uh, if you're just going by the ton. Right, and and you end up you're, you're doing this mining operation. You end up saying, okay, you know what? We end up having a, a really high cost for lead because lead ends up being most of the weight. But if you're primarily a gold mining operation, because you, gold is worth a lot more per ounce than lead, right? So if you're in the business of mining gold and you say, well, we also get this lead and we sell that as well, but then you're allocating all the costs. The costs, most of the costs are going to the, the just the one that's heavier, right? That happens to be heavier. And you look at your gold product line and you say, wow, we don't have any costs at all, right? We're, we're doing wonderful. We're so profitable on in, in manufacture, or, uh, mining gold. What are we doing with this lead over here? Well, you have to bear in mind that actually the company exists to mine gold. And so these costs, remember joint costs are common to the products, right? You're mining both of these, 
And so you can't just eliminate, the, for example, if you say, well, we're not going to mine lead anymore. It's not like all of a sudden, uh, you, you know, you would just continue to have this profitability with gold because then all those costs that were getting allocated to the lead would now come over and be allocated to the gold. So it's just something to be careful of when, when you're allocating these joint costs uh, by the physical measure method to just understand that, hey, look, it's really just going by weight or by gallons or by something like that. And it doesn't really take into consideration the relative sales values or, or value of the products that you're in business to be selling.